Hello and welcome to the 8th episode of Football Analysis. Today I'm going to be bringing you the Arsenal vs Newcastle Monday night game live from the Emirates and getting, breaking it down and giving you a bit of analysis and how I feel the game went and how I believe both teams can improve. To start with I'm just going to give you a bit of disclaimer. This is a high, not a highlights video so if you're looking to see the actual goals and you don't want to be on this video you want to click off now. And I will be disclosing the full time score at the end. So if you want to watch a highlights program later in the evening and you don't want to know the score, then you probably want to cut off the video now. But anyway, what a game I have for you tonight. It is the Newcastle Arsenal game, or Arsenal Newcastle game, live from the Emirates. And boy, it did get a little bit heated at times. I'm going to uh, kick it off with um, in the second minute. Arsenal were kind of on top with a Theo Cross being whipped into the box and Van Persie missing from about six yards out, uh, which is a little disappointing. I thought it could could be on for an absolutely huge game like the 4-4 uh, game we had last season. However, it didn't end up like that. In the fourth minute then, it moved on to Van Persie um, having a bit of a bad, bad touch leading to him not being able to execute the finish um, and unfortunately that was kind of the tone for Van Persie for the night as you would see as I get later on to the video he did have his good moments however he wasn't on his 100% top form which could have uh, ended badly um, and but it took an, only until the 13th minute for Newcastle United to score with uh, Ben Arthur it was a beautiful out wide cross which then was passed out to him and he cut inside onto his favoured left foot and put it to the right of Chesney as a near post which to be fair to him it was a very nice finish but what was incredible to witness I was down the uh, pub watching this a, I think it was like a 55 second response from Arsenal with that man again Van Persie popping up it was very similar to the Newcastle one apart from Theo uh, got onto the outside whipped it in uh, I think it went through the legs of one defender, Van Persie, fantastic first touch, then with his right foot knocked it to his left foot and then blasted it past Cruel, the uh, Newcastle keeper. And there was going to be a little bit of argy bargy between Cruel and Van Persie to come. But unfortunately, for the first 45, not a lot really happened after this. I was thinking two goals go in within the space of a minute. We could be on with a bit of Premier League history as we just nearly witnessed there with the 55 second reply. I'm going to check whether that might quite possibly be the fastest reply I've ever seen in the Premier League. However, uh, 21st minute is another highlight. Well, it's more of a low light. Uh, Van Persie had a bit of a terrible free kick. Um, and it kind of was Arsenal's way. You know, the Arsenal possession game, we were on top. However, we weren't really doing much of it in the first 45 minutes. And towards the end of the first half, a bit of... Argy Bargy started happening between Krul and Van Persie due to Krul, which he didn't need to do. This is the Newcastle keeper, was unsportingly time wasting. So, whether the ball got passed back to him or whether it came from an Arsenal player, he'll wait until Van Persie closed him down to pick it up. He wouldn't let the, uh, let the play f f flow or anything like that. He would just pick it up, time waste, and Obviously it was infuriating for Van Persie, he wanted to keep Arsenal's momentum as we have been on top. But the second half for an Arsenal player, uh, Arsenal player, no, Arsenal supporter myself, was a very tension filled one. We had so many chances and I'm not being like unfair on Newcastle uh, supporters or the team to say they didn't really have that many chances in the second half. and. Like at the end of the video, I'll get onto the shot ratio and the possession. But um, in the 48th minute, Rosicki had a bit of a beautiful effort with a diving header, which unfortunately nothing came of it. The, to, to be fair to Newcastle, their back four were very solid, and the amount of like, bombardment in which they came under throughout this game was, I think, all credit to them to keep it to what it was. Um, and then 50th minute, they, I'm just going to rattle off the attempts we had and failures which unfortunately had uh, Chamberlain having a volley which goes over, 55th minute, 
Uh, Arteta gets a nice cross to Van Persie, unfortunately misses. 60th was an absolute terrible one from uh, Chamberlain. Uh, and then 67th, we had a very nice move with Theo going down the ring, uh, w down the wing with a Rzyski being brought into play in the six-yard box and missing terribly. To be fair to Rzyski, he had a very good game, but he was brought taken off later, um, replaced by Jovino, I think. But he, he, well, he seems to be get like recovering his form quite a bit. Um, 79th minute. Van Persie misses from about six yards, and at this point I was getting very worried. I was thinking, we're having all this possession, we're not getting the goals. It looks like one of those nights that it's not going to go our way. Um, while this is all going on, the tension between Krul and Van Persie is getting uh, bigger and bigger, and it's it was all uh, boiled over at the end. But um, 83rd minute, we had a very nice whizzing cross through the box with a uh, Jovino missing from six yards as well absolutely dire miss. Um, 85th minute had a goal line clearance goal line clearance and that, that was dire. Uh, 90th at this point where there's five added minutes on the clock thinking come on Arsenal the amount of obsession you've had you've got to get something done here. Um, Kashalmi had a, a in fairness to him he was a good header but if you put it either side of the keeper one yard either side it was goal but Krul knocked it over which is pretty good save to him. Um, 91st minute, Walker had an effort. It was a bit of a shout for handball, but um, the defender was no. He had his arms all in to himself, and it kind of just clipped his back. Um, and then we left it till the 95th minute for Vermaelen, Vermaelen, sorry, uh, to get a. It was a bit of a scrappy five-yard goal, but to be honest, who cares? With the amount of possession we had, it was a the final stats for 59% to. Uh, Newcastle 41. We had 21 shots compared to their 5, 13 on targets compared to their 3, so they had a better shot ratio. But um, the amount of uh, possession we had, we should have put more than that past them. And to be honest, they fought hard. It was a very scrappy game, but not many yellow cards. But at the end, um, after the goal, Cruel came flying out and kind of got into a. Uh, they was having complete argy bargy him and Van Persie because of all this time wasting um, both get yellow carded and it all all the players looked as though they were going to get down each other's throats but play went on to the 99th minute just under that and then uh, fortunately Howard Webb blew for the full time whistle so that was it Arsenal won 2-1 in the 95th minute and for me I'm absolutely buzzing with that uh, if you have enjoyed uh, please leave a comment maybe a favourite and subscribe and I'll see you guys for episode 9 sometime soon.